What's happening guys? No intro, let's just jump right into it. Now my viewers on this channel know that credit cards, if used correctly, can be a tool that will make your financial life much better. However, if they're used incorrectly, they can also get you into a lot of debt, and that's why a lot of financial gurus out there like Dave Ramsey recommend that you just cut your credit cards up. So the biggest thing when it comes to getting a credit card is you have to be responsible with it. Always pay it off every single month, just have the automatic payment set up so it just pays off automatically, and never take out more than you can afford. But with that being said, if you're a beginner, there are some credit cards that are much much easier to get accepted for and there's also cards that will give you much better incentives to sign up for your first one a lot of credit card experts out there call this the credit card ladder where you have to basically get approved for certain levels of credit cards before you have a good chance of getting approved for the higher level ones and so these are some of the lower level ones that in my opinion are some of the best in fact one of the credit cards on this list is pretty much in my opinion the best credit card that you can possibly get just because the other ones are on a higher level doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that they're better. So number eight on the list is going to be the Capital One Platinum. Now, this is a credit card that pretty much doesn't have any perks at all. The reason I recommend this one is because you're almost guaranteed to get accepted for it if it's the first one that you're applying for. That's a really big problem when you're applying for your very first credit cards is there's a good chance you'll get rejected. Once you get a credit card, like for instance, the Capital One Platinum, you built up a little bit of a credit history, there's a much better chance that you'll get accepted to those other ones. Now, I do think that there's better options on the list and there are ways of predicting whether you're going to get accepted or rejected from a credit card before you actually apply for it. I'm going to go over that a little bit later in the video, but if you don't want to worry about all that, you're not really planning on spending very much money. You just want to get your first credit card so you can start to build your credit card history. This is a really good one to apply for. Number seven on the list is going to be the Chase Freedom credit card. Now this comes in a few different forms. There's the Chase Freedom, Chase Freedom Unlimited, and then there's the Chase Freedom student card. They're all very similar, but this is another card that's really good and you have a pretty good chance of getting accepted for it even if you have no credit history at all. This is actually my first credit card that I got when I was 18 and I've been really happy with it. I still have it. Now you do earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on all of your purchases, which is pretty good. That's about the industry standard. At the time of filming this video, it has a really nice sign-on bonus where if you spend $500 in your first three months after purchasing the card, you will get $200 in cash back automatically. None of the cards on this list are what's known as annual fee credit cards, so you don't have to pay a fee every single year, it's just a straight cash back card. Your cash back rewards don't expire as long as your account stays open. And again, this isn't as good as some of the other ones I'm gonna mention on the list, but it's one where you have a reasonably good chance of getting approved, and it still has some pretty good stats, like it has the 1.5% cash back and it's got some nice perks. Number six on the list is going to be the Bank of America cash cash rewards credit card. Now, to be honest with you, this is one of the more complicated ones. It has a bunch of like random exceptions and all that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna simplify basically what it offers you. It offers 1% cash back on all purchases, 2% cash back at grocery stores and wholesale clubs, and then 3% cash back in a category of your choice. So for instance, let's say you spend a lot of money on gas, you could use that 3% cash back on gas. Now on top of that, if you spend $1,000 on the card within the first three months or 90 days of opening it, you get a nice $200 cash back reward. So this is a really nice one because it's got that 3% category. It's not too hard to get accepted for. And overall, it's just a good choice. Number five on the list is going to be the Discover It credit card. Now, if you thought the last one was complicated, which it is a little bit more complicated than what I said, this one is even more complicated than that. So first of all, you can earn 1% cash back on all purchases automatically. And and then it's got a 5% cash back rotating category that changes every three months. So this could be grocery store, restaurant, gas, all kinds of different things. You can get 5% cash back on one of those categories, but it changes every three months and you have to keep track of it. Now this sounds really cool in theory, but honestly, when you've gotten credit cards before, it's really annoying having to go and check what the cash back rewards are and keep in your head like, oh, I need to use this credit card for restaurants and this credit card for groceries. 
it's kind of annoying if you ask me. Some people still do it and they maximize their offer. They make like an extra five bucks a month doing that or something, but it's just not something that I like to do. Now, Discover does have a really, really cool introductory offer that only lasts one year. And basically all the cash back you earn on this credit card within the first year. So let's say you earned $300 cash back in the first year with all of your spending, they will actually match all 300 of that and you'll get 600 cash back. That is a pretty sweet offer. I mean, it does expire after the first year, but that's pretty good. Number four on the list is going to be the Fidelity Rewards Visa Signature Card. Now, this one is extremely similar to City Double Cash. If you heard of that one, you basically get 2% cash back on all purchases, no questions asked, no annual fee. The only catch is that the 2% cash back has to be deposited directly into your Fidelity investment account. You also have to have a Fidelity investment account, so that's kind of another thing. But if you do have one and you're okay with getting that 2% cash back deposited directly into your account, you're not like using it for something else for whatever reason, this is an excellent option. And I really especially love this one because the 2% cash back goes into your investment account and then if that stock goes up the next day, you're already starting to earn interest on that money. So it's a great way to start investing without even thinking about it. And I've mentioned this before, but Fidelity is a fantastic company and they're moving towards the direction of integrating a bunch of different personal finance needs into one. So you can invest with one company, bank with one company, have a savings with one company, have a credit with one company. You don't have to you know, use five or six different companies kind of like I am right now. Number three on the list is going to be the US Bank Cash Plus card. Now out of all the cards that I mentioned, the reward structure for this one is the most complicated. There's all kinds of little rules and exceptions and all this little stuff on here. And this is one of the favorite cards of people who like to basically strategically juggle cards and you know, oh, I use this card when I go to restaurants and this card when I use Uber and this card when I go grocery shopping. I'm not really into that, but some people are, you know, really into it and that's awesome, that's cool. So I'm gonna try to explain this as simply as possible because it's honestly pretty complicated. You earn 1% cash back on all purchases, 2% cash back on your choice of one everyday category such as a gas station or restaurants, etc. You earn 5% cash back on two different categories of your choice. However, you have to do it in quarters. So in one year, you can earn $100 cash back total in the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. So $400 cash back total over the entire year. So that's $2,000 in combined net eligible purchases, but it has to be done by the quarter. On top of that, if you spend $500 within the first 90 days of using the card, that means you can get $150 cash back. So theoretically, you could earn $550 cash back on this card the first year, spending a little bit over $2,000. And on top of that, there's no limit to the total amount of cash back earned. Now it's a little bit more complicated than that, but I kind of simplified it for you. Now a lot of people like using this one in conjunction with the Discover It credit card and whatever 5% cash back category that one has, they just use this one and pick two other random cashback categories and that way they're able to maximize the amount of cashback that they get. It's a lot of work in my opinion. I'm not really into that sort of thing, but if this is the first couple credit cards you're getting, I think it's definitely worth it to get these because of their really amazing sign-on bonus. Number two on the list is going to be the Amazon Prime Rewards card. Now this one is amazing if you're already doing a lot of shopping on Amazon as it is. I get a lot of stuff delivered to me uh, by Amazon just so that I don't have to go out and get it. And this one gets you 5% cashback on Amazon or Whole Foods purchases, 2% cash back at restaurants, gas stations, and drug stores, and then 1% cash back on all other areas. Now you do need an Amazon Prime membership in order to be eligible to sign up for the 5% cash back. So if you don't already have an Amazon Prime membership, I would not recommend signing up for this one. But for those that do already have an Amazon Prime membership, this is a really, really good one. Number one on the list is going to be my favorite credit card of all time. This is just a great beginner card and it's honestly just the great card overall. And that is going to be the City Double Cash card. This one is no BS, no having to transfer stuff in order to see if it's like airline credit or you can use it at this, you can only use it for airlines. Any of that stuff you see with a lot of the other credit cards, it's just straight 2% cash back on any purchase. So it's 1% cash back when you buy something and then another 1% cash back whenever you pay the balance on the card. There's no sign-on bonus and this is one of the cards where you might get rejected if you're a beginner, 
but it's also a pretty good one. You have a relatively good chance. You just need to make sure that you can check to see what your chances are. I love how simple this one is, just no BS. You get your 2% cash back, bada bing, bada bang, you're done. And to see what your chances are for getting accepted for a credit card, I recommend going to Credit Karma and basically entering your information there and then entering the credit card that you're thinking about applying for and they'll tell you how likely you are to get accepted for it. There's a lot of things you can't really research all that well, but JD Power did a 2019 US credit card satisfaction study. So you can kind of just look over this. I'll have it pop up on the screen right now to see which credit cards have the most satisfaction overall. Now, as you can see, Discover and American Express are by far the leaders. They're at the very top. Uh, Capital One, Chase, uh, Barclays is pretty good. Um, national average is around 806. City is just a below average. Bank of America, US Bank, uh, Wells Fargo, Synchrony, and oh, Credit One is very, very low. And then at the very bottom, you've got USAA, which is basically a company that you can get into if you are a veteran you or you are affiliated with a veteran. And that one has the highest rankings of all. So that would be a really good one to sign up for if you are a veteran. Check out my videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any comments, thoughts, ideas, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. Thank you so much for watching, and bye for now.